Arthroscopy of the trapezium metacarpal joint is relatively difficult because of the narrow anterior articular space and the difficulty of maintaining traction. Good installation is necessary. Intraarticular introduction of 25 gauge hypodermic needles allows the correct positioning of the entry point to be verified by fluoroscopic control. This allows us to avoid making a mistake with the scaphotrapezial joint, which is very close. Draw the skin incision and bone relief after a careful palpation may be useful before applying traction. An injection of saline solution into the joint to distend it may be a good tip. The last tip is to put sticky tape between the skin and the Chinese finger to prevent the thumb from sliding down. In practice, we start with one new portal and then the one hair portal is identified by transillumination and can be used as an instrumental portal. The first phase of the arthroscopic procedure consists of a complete synovectomy with a shaver, reversing the shaver and scope position, to perform the most complete synovectomy. Here you can see a bipolar arthritic lesion with some healthy cartilage around. A probe can be used to check the integrity of the ligament and to detect distension of the capsular ligament structure and the presence of the free intraarticular osteophyte. The ligament structure of the joint are evaluated with a shaver without being too aggressive. Once the reactive synovial hypertrophy has been resected and the joint is clear, resection of the bar subcondyl bone using a 3 mm burr induces a bloody do. Only osteoarticular osteoarthritic lesions are resected, leaving healthy cartilage areas in place. The burrs from the striker laboratory can be removed with the use of the burr alone. The TPATD produces a lot of interarticular debris and aspiration with the motorized blade can be obstructed by the multitude of debris. Abundant joint cleaning is necessary and aspiration with a large diameter cannula helps to remove this debris. Concerning the bone fixation, the limb traction was maintained and two divergent pins were placed under fluoroscopic control to maintain the joint space and promote the development of a postoperative hematoma. Two k wires were introduced using a motorized driver from the base of the metacarpal to the body of the trapezium.